Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley and here on my channel I talk all about embroidery, applique, Etsy, and running your own small business from home. Um, so today I'm just going to bring you guys along on a Friday like normal as I work on finishing my orders for this week. I just looked and I have 25 jackets left to finish this week and two kids shirts. One's just um, expected to ship today and one's actually a rush order. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. Um, do that one today too so we can go out UPS this morning. Um, I am mostly prepared. It's a little after eight o'clock. I've got all my files set up already this morning um, before I came down to my office. And otherwise I just need to sort jackets, get everything in order and get started and clean my office first. Maybe it's a little messy, um, but otherwise I'm ready to go. I am feeling a little bit better. So hopefully I'll be able to push through and get everything done as quickly as possible today. Um, I'm going to run um, the two birthday shirts first, get those out of the way, and then focus on all the rest of the embroidery. Um, and it should go pretty fast. Um, the only other thing I need to remember, well, two things I need to remember to do looking down. I have a sample I just did. need to remember to take photos of today. I'm going to set this over on my light box, so hopefully I'll see it and remember to do that soon. And then I have a couple jack lo local jackets that were dropped off, some Carhartt jackets. Um, I need to take pictures of the logo and get that sent in to be digitized. I'm going to do a left chest on them as well as a larger logo on the back. Um, I double checked and their current logo is about the right dimensions for my machine. I usually hesitate doing jacket backs because um, my machine's only stitched so large and that depending on the shape of the logo, it can kind of be not big enough. Um, but it's going to actually match perfectly to what they already have so that it works. Um, but I do need to get those digitized, so I need to get those set off, so I'll have them back Monday. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I hoop and do Carhartt jackets um, on my machines, let me know. I do use Mighty Hoops, but I can do a special video on just that um, if anyone's interested. Um, so let me know down below. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get cleaned up, get everything organized, and I'll get started. All right, so it's a little after 9 o'clock. I'm finally getting the machines going now. I've um, got all, all the other things done. I got my images sent to be digitized. I got pictures taken of what I needed done, um, organized, cleaned up, um, put all my jackets out. I misordered two. Again, um, I ordered two, two XLs instead of two extra larges. So that was just looking at my list wrong and I ordered them wrong. So they're ordered. They'll be here Monday. Um, I'm going to kind of go out of order on my orders today just to get the UPS stuff done first in hopes I have it done before UPS picks up. To, or deliver stuff today so he can just pick up for free. I don't know if I'll get them done. I've got two jackets and one shirt for sure. And well, three jackets, actually two orders plus a shirt. Um, so I'm going to do those first, see if I can get them done and packaged. And then I will move on to the rest of my orders and just kind of go in order um, that I have them as I received them. And then I think that's it. Um, I'll just kind of show you guys some stuff as I go.
All right, so I have my UPS shipping labels printed. He's not here yet, and it's still pretty early, so I should be good. Um, you saw me measure and weigh those. I just want to make sure my measurements in there are exact because I'm going to start using UPS more as we go through the holiday season. I'm probably going to switch over um, almost exclusively, at least for my monogram shop. Anything that would go priority, I'll probably just ship UPS rounds. Um, I'll probably make those adjustments in my Etsy shop so it reflects that that's how it's going to be shipped um, here within the next couple days to a week. Um, I'm not sure exactly when. I just, anything I start shipping the week of Thanksgiving will be going UPS. Um, so I currently use Shippo, S-H-I-P-P-O, for shipping UPS. <laughs> Most items ship for around the cost of priority and some are even less. Um, so that's really nice. Um, the only downfall is I have to use my own packaging, but that's not a big deal. I stocked up earlier this fall, so I'm good to go on that. Um, and then kids shirts, it'll just depend on how soon they need it, whether I strip it UPS as, as like a courtesy upgrade or just continue with the post office. Um, that's just my personal experience the past couple of years, knowing my regional sort facility will get bogged down. And it's like everything that goes starting the week of Thanksgiving just gets lost in transit there at that regional center in my state. Um, and then they start processing like the newer stuff before they process the old stuff. And it's super frustrating. This has unfortunately happened the last couple years since I've moved here. Um, and it gets really stressful when packages just sit for two weeks and I start five to file claims and dealing with all that. And I don't wanna deal with that this year. I'm sure UPS will have their fair share of um, just getting behind and stuff, but I, my personal experience is that at least things are not sitting for two weeks, even if they take a couple extra days to get there. Um, so this was the shirt you just saw me make. This was actually a custom request. I have a sports ball shirt up and they had messaged me off that and asked if I could do a bouncy ball one. So I looked and I found this design. It stitched out really great. It was a great scrap buster too. I was able to pull all the ball fabric out of my scrap organizer. Um, I think I've shown that before. It's over here on the back of my closet. Um, both of these are just hanging on the back of my closet door. They're from Amazon. I just use one for color. And then I have an extra one at the top that I use kind of like multicolor rainbowy fabrics I put in. So when I'm looking for a small piece of applique fabric, that's the first place I look. Those all already have heat and bond light on them, all ready to go. Fabrics that I use very frequently, I actually do large pieces at a time, so I ha make sure I have extra in there. And then other stuff, it's like I don't always cut exact. I always try to cut it just a little bit extra at least, so I have some smaller scraps in there for me to use as I go. But since this is a new design, I'm going to make sure I'm going to heat press this real quick and um, get some pictures of it before I ship it. And then I'm going to get these packaged and set outside to um, be picked up by UPS anytime now. And I'm going to get these other two machines going um, with jackets. I have my other birthday shirt going. It's going to be done here very soon. It's got about nine minutes left on it. Um, and then after that, I'll be able to run all three machines on jackets. Hopefully I'll be able to knock them out. Already got three done out of my 25. So on a roll already. So this next um, item I'm going to be doing, you probably haven't seen me do in my, on my shop before. So I don't get many orders for these. These are tote bags. Um, and I'm going to put a stethoscope design and a name on here. I use my 7x7 seven seven fast frames for these. It fits perfectly into this pocket so I don't have to stitch through the pocket. Um, so that way it's still a usable pocket. That's why I like these bags. It's got this nice, big, huge front pocket on it. Um, this is the one item I do not use stabilizer on. Um, these are a very, very thick, nice quality tote bag. Um, the thin ones, I would still recommend at least using tearaway. But for these, I, I don't use any. Um, I could still put tearaway on it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just um, my personal preference. So what I do is I slip that in there. Um, I do line the top of it up kind of along the line here, and I use this as my center mark with the center of the bag. This bag has nice, great landmarks, so I don't have to measure so much. Um, I do need to keep the frame off of the bottom because um, if I get the design too low, it uh, does not leave enough room with the fast frames to stitch that close to the bottom of the frame. So I do kind of try to keep it up a little ways. 
I use these binder clips for the tote bags. I'm going to place those there just to hold the fast frame in place for me. I'm going to put one here at the bottom. I have to grab some more, looks like. And then I put two on each side. I'm going to clip one there. And I'm going to move these ones up here at the top because I don't need those. Um, I need that open so I can clip that onto the frame arm. I'm going to again grab one and then move this one down. There you go. So it's going to go on my machine up here. I'll have to, so it's going to be on the machine, well, like this. I'm going to stitch the design here, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. So here's some other items I'm working on while that's stitching. Um, this one is a name with a long set of credentials underneath. I tried to get the customer to split this up more um, because it's near impossible to fit her credentials on one line. She only wanted the name split, so I'm doing the best I can. I have my machine running at 500 because of how much I've reduced this font. It, it's not a font that reduces well. So, fingers crossed it comes out looking okay. It looks like it's actually doing pretty well considering. Here's another one. And then the tote bag stitching now. Um, these only take about 15 minutes. Um, I definitely need to add, be adding more stuff like this to my shop as we're entering like gift giving season. Um, Cause these make a great gift um, since it's one size fits all. You don't have to guess what size um, for your, whoever you're gifting. So both of these are done now. Um, this act, name actually is pretty clean. Um, just, you can see stuff there. Um, I obviously need to go in and trim stuff and clean it up, but it actually didn't do too bad considering, like I said, this font does not always reduce well, and I had to reduce it over 50%, which is not recommended. And here's the tote bag once it's done. Um, I'm just going to unclip this and pull it out, and it's basically done. I got a, some trimming to do here. Um, a different thread color got um, stitched up in it. So, Otherwise, I have about 16 jackets left to go, and then I'll be done for the day. So next up, I have just a left chest monogram on a t-shirt. Um, I do have a video that details how I do this, um, but basically I put it on a specific number based on the size of the shirt. I put my bottom Mighty Hoop ring in. I use my normal stabilizer, and that is Tearaway with a piece of poly mesh. Um, I just slide the shirt over the station. and make sure it's all lined up at the top, nice and flat. And then I put my Mighty Hoops on with the warning label towards the top. It has the little screws that fit right in these grooves. Push down, it's hoops. That's gonna be exactly where I want in the center, where I want the center of the design to be. Um, like I said, I have specific numbers in a detailed video um, from several months ago that goes into detail on what numbers I like to use. And then I have just a few more things I'm going to hoop up. Um, first up is I'm just going to add the name to this jacket. So I zip them back up when I do that. Um, lay it out nice and flat. And then I use the dot stickers from All Stitch to place. Everyone always asks how I know just where to place it. I place it. This one I use an exact measurement on, and then I do the name just um, not quite at the top of it. And then I bring it down from this, a high point of the seam here. Now on like three and four X, I do bump it out just a tiny bit off to the side, a little bit past that seam. Um, but for most sizes that works well for me. Then I use my fast frames. I kind of reuse the ones that I put names on since I don't use much of the tearaway. And then I use these sewing clips just to hold everything in place nice and secure. Um, I know there's different versions. Some people use actual like slide on clips. I like these though. That works for me. Um, and then I have a bunch the four or five piece set here to do. These are all going to be the same logo, so I'm going to make a couple extra fast frames up 
I like to tear or to tape my tear away to the back of my fast frames. I went over in my last video, my announcement video, um, how to determine which side's the back. Um, so I taped these on the back. I did just get a tape dispenser for my masking tape, and let me tell you, I have, well, I have one that's not working well right now, but I have a new one on the way, it should be here today. That's a total game changer. I actually got this one for my heat tape, um, but it has a little one on the side to use, so I've been using it for my masking tape, and I love it so much, I finally just spent the money and went and ordered a regular tape dispenser for my masking tape. Um, a couple of my frames, my 6x6 six six frames, are slightly smaller than the rest. I don't know why, they're just the first two I bought of the 6x6 six six size. So I have to cut my stabilizer down by like just a tiny bit of like a quarter of an inch or eighth of an inch. Alright, that one's done. I'm going to start that name on the one I just hooped. When I'm pulling these up on the machines, this is when I take the time to double check everything. Because I always have the order sitting right here on the counter next to me. And that one's done and needs a name. So next I'm going to put a this t-shirt monogram on this um, machine here. To do that though, when I use the five and a half by five and a half inch mighty hoop, it uses a different size on the arm. It uses what brother recognizes as the five by seven. Um, honestly, one of the reasons I actually like my jerky hoops is I don't have to change that, but I, I like the ease of using the mighty hoops other than having to change this. So. Minor inconvenience, I guess. So, quick update. It is 2 o'clock now. I've got my little girl here with me. She did not nap, so she's down here running around with me. I've got almost everything done. Um, I've got three more jackets of a four-piece order left to do. I'm just getting started on those. I'm going to get them going on each machine right now. Um, and then I do technically still have four more jackets to go, but they were part of a five-piece order, and I'm missing one of those jackets. It will not be here until Monday, so I am going to go ahead and try to finish those four today, just to have them done and out of the way. Um, but I'm not going to worry about getting those done before I have to mail stuff. I need to be mailing stuff in about an hour. Um, most of my items are trimmed and folded, but I do have a stack over here. Actually, probably half of them are. Probably have the other half over here, and it needs trimmed still and packaged. So I'm going to work on that after I get these um next three jackets going and then work on packing orders so I've actually almost completely caught up for the day um, and it's at two o'clock so that's good hey guys so thanks so much for joining me today I did get everything finished that I have here and ready to ship um, so it's all shipped and taken to the post office I did cheat a little bit I went to a different post office that has a little bit later drop-off time um, I've actually been doing that quite a bit here lately um, kind of switching back and forth between the two post office but they're dropped off. They're going to go out today. So that's what's important. I'm still waiting on UPS to pick up their packages. He still has not been here at after 3.30. So, um, but he's, my, I still have stuff out for delivery. Um, so he'll pick those up when he gets here and they'll go out today as well. Um, so thanks again um, for all your guys' support um, and love, especially with our announcement video last week. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.